Princesses, welcome back to my channel and I hope you're all fabulous. If you haven't already joined the Razzle Dazzle family then do so now by clicking the little subscribe button and the little bell to be notified of all my amazing videos that I do. Also click it so I know that you love me basically. So in this video I'm going to be making this wonderful, are you ready for it? I'll be painting this little fairy house as its door. This was a present, so I'm not sure where it's from. I think it looks like it might be from Hobby, Hobby Craft, one of my top favourite places, or somewhere like that. So I'm going to be painting this today. So I've got this selection of paint I'm going to be using, and I'm going to give it a go and see how it turns out. I hope it's been amazing. Little fairies will want to come into this house and visit this little beautiful mushroom. If you like this kind of video, do give it a thumbs up, and if there's any comments you want to put, do put in the comments box below and say any other kits I can try out and review basically. And let's get crafty and make some fairies visit my little house. Oh I love fairies so much. It's actually a little money box as well. So you can store all your little coins in there and the fairies can keep it all safe for you. It's got a picture on the back of what you could do it like. They've done it more like I suppose yeah like a little wooden house like a plant pot. In another video, I do want to do some like fairy plant pots because if you haven't seen already, go and look at my topsy turvy magical garden creation in one of my videos because it looks like it's magic and it's like tilting one way and the other. And I do want to do another video where it looks like they're little fairy houses with plants coming out of them. So you've got different colours here you've got brown, green, red, black, white, and yellow. And as I always say, start with the lightest colour first because then as you're getting on it doesn't mix the colours. As you, I said, it's a little fairy house where I'm going to invite all the fairies to come and stay and live in there. Whatever they could all be in there. I might do the top bit first, the red, I think. Oh, it's really red. Paint's really bright. really smooth to paint on. I'm painting all the top bit red and like a normal toadstool would have red and white but I'm thinking I might do it different colours. I do like giving this effect whenever I do these like more like speckle effect. You'd be quite messy on the first layer because it doesn't really matter so much because then you can tidy it up as you're doing it. I don't know if you guys have made any like little fairy houses and stuff. Mm. Oh no, drip down the side. Sort of saying about the water. Oh no. I feel like I'm paint over it. No, it'll be alright. It'll be fine. <laughs> Do you know how I'm going to paint these flowers with this massive brush? That's the only thing with these kits, they give you like huge brushes. Right, I think I'm going to paint the rest of it white then add some more bits to it. So I've painted all the white bit, just gone over the bits where I've messed up. And now I'm going to go over the red bit again just to, to get a bit more of a stronger red tone I think. Just because it's a bit see-through really. Not see-through, you can see the plaster underneath so I'm just going to make it a bit more so you can't inside of the windows to make it look like there's someone inside there. Paint all the little spot bits and just do the touch-ups really and then more or less finish. It's going to be quite difficult with this brush because it's so big but we'll give it a go and see. Try and be quite detail not to run a water because what happened last time.
And I think the window is on a really like wooden. So yeah, I'm gonna do I think the window frame I can see is yellow and I'm gonna do wooden like doors on a frame around the window. Do that now and then I'm gonna do the final touch up with the white, then I think I'm done. Finally finished my little fairy cottage slash mushroom house. I kind of did it on in the end, but it was the kind of theme of you know the old cottagey kind of places you get with the old style windows and the wooden door, and it kind of went the theme of the painting. You know, like old fashioned paintings when you dab it on and stuff. Not very neat, but I kind of gone for that style. There's my cute little fairy mushroom slash cottage. There you go. If you enjoyed this video, do give it a thumbs up and let me know. And remember to subscribe to my channel and click the little bell to be notified of all my fabulous videos that I do. If there's any other stuff you think I could make, crafty stuff and review kits, let me know and put in a comment in the box below and I'll give it a go. And I hope you enjoyed this video and see you guys later. So keep crafty and if you did give this a try, let me know also because it's always fabulous to see how you get on. I did find the paintbrush a bit big to use and I think, yeah, that's about it really because it's quite hard to get to all the details but I think it still looks quite cute. So welcome to all the fairies, do come along and visit my little mushroom cottage place. <laughs>